What's up, fellas? So I got a patron supporter that's dating a virgin, and she wants to wait to get married. All right? And so, guys, here's the thing with this with me. All right? This will be a deal breaker for me. See, guys, you guys got to think highly of yourself. See, as high value men, guys, we have options. And so when we encounter a woman that doesn't meet something that we want, listen, guys, if I meet a woman and I don't give a fuck how bad she is, if she snorts cocaine, that's a deal breaker for me. All right, that's a, listen, that is a deal breaker for me. Now, I will fuck her, all right? But I would not date a girl that snorts fucking cocaine. You cannot, bitch, you're going to be stealing from me. At the very least, you're going to be asking me for money. You So, guys, that is a deal breaker for me as in dating, all right? This would be a deal breaker for me. But let me say this, guys. I would still give it three fucking dates. All right? I have confidence. This is what I was telling you guys about when I talk to women on the phone about low interest. I, listen, if I just get your ass on this fucking date, I could, you'll, like me, you'll like me a little bit more by the end of this fucking date. That's the confidence I have in my fucking self, guys. When I was a trainer at the gym, it would be people on the floor that other trainers would be like, Oh, that motherfucker, they don't never buy, man. They don't never buy. They just take the comp session and they don't never buy. They been here 10 years and they ain't never... I done heard all that shit. I didn't give a fuck. That's you. You couldn't sell it to them. I still would go up to them and try. I don't give a fuck if every trainer in here done talk to them. It don't make me no fucking difference. Even this girl you talking to here, even with you telling me that shit, I think that I could charm them panties off by the third date. Maybe I'm wrong. The point being, guys, is this is the whole point of the three-date rule. All right? This is the whole point. This is why I don't mind dating women with low interest because you know what? You got three fucking dates to get that interest right, and it's going to be cheap dates. I'm not finna... Listen, y'all see these vlogs? Y'all see them vlogs with them dates all nice and expensive? Bitch, don't look for that. All right, don't uh, don't look don't look for no rooftop bar. In the, uh, mm, don't look for that. You don't look for that. All right, shitty pub time. All right, guys, maybe you get a little bit better spot on the fucking second date, and that's if I see your interest is arising. All right, if it's the same level it was at the start of the first date, won't be no fucking second date, bitch. You sound like you still attached to somebody else. All right, guys. So, guys, you have to have standards. If it's something that you don't want, I have dated a woman like this before. And she wasn't no virgin, but and she never claimed to be a virgin. But she wanted me to wait longer for sex. After the third date, I was done. All right, so she go to calling me. I'm not answering the uh, phone and shit. So then she sends me a text saying, hey, I can't wait to see you this weekend. Uh, I can't wait to give myself to you. All right, because she knew what she fucking had to do. And I remember, man, that shit gave me so much power. I made that bitch suck my dick the whole fucking weekend. All right, the whole fucking weekend. When you do some submissive shit like that, oh, bitch, you going to suck a whole. She lucky she didn't have to lick my ass. I, I was generous that weekend, all right? But I had complete control because she I was done with it. All right, I gave it three dates. Sleeping in the last two dates, we actually she uh I spent the night at her house and then she spent the night at the house and still didn't give me no ass. Oh yeah, you take your ass on. But then she sent me that test message because she knew I was done with her ass because I wasn't even responding to the calls. All right, guys. So this is a deal breaker. Now, if it's not a deal breaker for you, then shut the fuck up and deal with it. All right, you guys have the scarcity mindset. And then you want to bitch and complain. I tell you what, tell her you ain't getting no job till you get married and see what she do for your ass. I guarantee you that's a deal breaker to her. All right, guys. So I got a couple of issues I have with this right off the fucking bat, guys. The, the number one thing that when you hear something like this, please understand that she's already trying to control the dynamic of the relationship with sex. Do you guys think it's going to get any better? down the road she already see i can control the relationship with sex that's this is what you're doing you're already reinforcing in her head that she can control the relationship with sex so if you get married i don't you know you do something i don't like i withhold sex this is what you're signing up for by the way this is what you're signing up for 
You do something I don't like. You see what I'm saying? She gonna go read the manipulation with holding sex. All right, guys. So you need to know that that when you agree to sign up for this shit, you basically saying, "Hey, you can control the relationship." The next thing I'm gonna look at, and this is why I would take my chances with this because I sold plenty of people at the gym that people claim that nobody else could sell. Is what I would how I look at this is what's her attraction level to you? Yeah, y'all guys will never think about that. What's her attraction level? Because it seems to me as she only sees you as a potential beta male provider. That's how I look at it. That means that her physical attraction, and when I say physical, I'm not just talking about looks. I'm talking about your charisma, all your internal attributes. You ain't doing it for her. But provider time. Guys, you don't want to get in no provider relationship. It's not the fucking same, guys. All right? It's not the fucking same as a woman who looks at you and you just do it for her. All right? I ain't, ain't nothing wrong with a woman seeing you as a provider and you getting the ass off of that. All right? If a woman want to look at my apartment or look at my car or look at the way I dress and think I'm a beta male provider, think what the fuck you want to think. All I'm trying to do is get the fucking ass. But marriage is a whole fucking different thing. All right? You do not want a woman in a relationship looking at you like that. All right? I'm going to tell you the, one of the main reasons why. You'll always be insecure in this relationship. Because this is going to be a woman that don't give you much intimacy. All right? She's not going to give you a whole lot of physical contact. And so you're going to be having to initiate all the physical contact because she really not that physically into you. She's there. It's, it's like a contract. I give you a little ass sometimes and you provide for the family. That's what this is going to feel like. It's not going to feel like a lovey relationship. All right. Because if this woman was physically attracted to you, if you put whoever is her favorite musician was to approach her, I guarantee you she would fuck him. I guarantee you. All right, guys, so you don't want to get into one of these things if you're going to get married, which I don't think you should get married any fucking way. And the only reason why she's so, you know, hell bent on getting married is she wants the security that a relationship gives the fucking woman. That's what she wants. Y'all, if you're trying to get married in this day and age, man, I have no idea why the hell you even on this page. That is the most beta thing. You got all these fucking MGTOW channels and shit and just red pill channels in general showing guys what happens when marriages end. Over 50% of marriages end in divorce. All right? If you a high value male, you in the gym, you improving yourself, you own your fucking purpose. Don't let no fucking woman fucking blindside you with and basically what she's doing guys is she's bullying you with marriage you want a little of this well give me marriage and your little scarcity mindset ass feel like you have no other option to i don't give a fuck how much you like her she don't fucking obviously don't like you that much outside of being a fucking provider all right guys the next thing i want to bring up is more than likely guy who, who the guy who asked me this she's not a virgin I'm, 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 I hate to break it to you. Now, I'm not saying, I'm, you know, I'm not saying that she couldn't be. I'm just saying more than likely, this is what happened. More than likely, she was fucking with dudes and she could never get what she wanted out of it. And so now she's withholding sex to get what she want. That's what, more than likely, that's what happened. Guys was fucking her and probably leaving. That probably happened a couple of times. And then she became a born again virgin. I, I, I wouldn't have bet my life she's not a straight virgin. Unless the guy who sent me this email, unless she like, unless you like 15 or 16 or some shit. If you talking about a 21 year old woman or some shit, it is highly unlikely that she's a straight virgin. More than likely, she couldn't get what she want. And so now she's ransoming the pussy. She's holding the fucking pussy hostage to get marriage. All right, guys, and which tells you everything you need to know. She's already manipulating. Listen, just look at what you're doing. She's already manipulating. You think it's going to get better five years down the road? All right, what happens when you don't buy that purse she wants? What happens when y'all looking to buy a house 
and she want this house over here, but you think this house over here, and you know the you know the fucking female, right? She always want to get some shit that's gonna put you in crazy amount of debt and have stress on your fucking head, cause she want to impress a little stupid ass friends. So she want to go get a car that y'all can't afford, and she want to go get a house that y'all can't afford, and then she's baffled at the amount of stress the relationship get got on it, because she got you getting all this bullshit that y'all can't fucking afford. Now. All this shit is going to bring undue stress, unneeded stress into the fucking relationship, which is only going to make the fucking relationship fucking toxic. All right. And now she want to file for a fucking divorce for irre irreconcilable differences. All right. Because she done put all this fucking financial pressure on your ass trying to get this house and car to oppress her stupid ass friends. All right, just want to let you know that, by the way. So she's going to be manipulating. You're going to want this fucking $300,000 house, and she's going to want this fucking $800,000 house so she can impress her stupid-ass friends and have y'all with a mortgage up to your fucking ass bringing stress into the fucking relationship. And if you don't give it to her, she's going to bitch and whine and withhold sex. God, that's what her game is. She's doing it to get marriage. What the fuck make you think she's not going to do it after fucking marriage, man. I'm out, man. All right, I'll holler at you guys later, man. What's up, fellas? So, this is a dude I follow for, uh, I watch for financial advice, guys, Richard Fain. I done gave y'all, I done shouted out enough dating coaches, and y'all guys ought to have all the knowledge to get as much ass as you want. Uh, I want you guys to start focusing more on your financial and shit like that. So, I'm going to just start, you know, giving y'all some of the financial guys that I follow. Uh, I'm not going obviously obviously I follow a lot of financial guys but you know it don't I don't I'm not going to shout out Dave Ramsey or Graham Stephan you know they got millions of subscribers they don't need a shout out I want to help some of the smaller financial guys guys who get you know less views than me Dave Ramsey and Graham Stephan don't don't need shit from me but um but this is one of the guys I follow guys a real estate guy real cool brother and also another thing I want to bring into it guys is like I tell you guys, and, and this, this is just between us uh, black people right here, when I say this, uh, start helping each other out more instead of hating all that dumb shit. You know, as soon as anybody in the black community start doing good, crabs in a barrel come up. And the only time you see black people mention another black person in the title is when something, you know, something bad happens. They get arrested or... Y'all remember the scandal that came down with Phil from the advice show. Everybody had his name in the thumbs. That's the only time black people, you know, mention another black person when something bad happens. So, like, when it's time, so, hey, let's go and finish him off, guys. He, he on the ropes now, so let's just go and finish tearing him on down. You know, black people are notorious for that. That's the only time they'll mention somebody is when it's, it's something negative. All right, so this is some positive, guys. So make sure y'all go over there and check Richard Fain out, guys. Learn about real estate, how to make some money. Your life can't revolve around ass, guys.